Hello there, YouTubers. Uh, this is Pete. Well, I'm Pete, should I say. Uh, this is my first ever YouTube video. So, uh, that's good. Possibly. And uh, today, I'd just like to make a little quick video about this instrument, the Sarod, or Sarod, whichever you pronounce it. And this is just a little thing that I've discovered um, with my model. This is just a fairly basic one off eBay. And... And I bought it and couldn't get much done with it because uh, there's nobody around here that really teaches you and I'm just kind of play it by ear. And um, I've not been able to set these strings up here, these uh, sympathetic strings either because there's, there's just no one around here that can do it. So um, basically it's in, it's not in full working order at the moment but I've been playing on it anyway just to kind of get the basics and I've discovered um, kind of by accident that if you change the tuning of it then you get it just makes you can get a slightly different sound and also it makes it slightly easier to do certain things uh, it should be roughly uh, in tune of F C G and C which will be like this uh, um. something like that. What I've done, and uh, this is just a suggestion, I would not recommend you to try this, so please don't blame me if you get into trouble, <laughs> but it's just a little thing I've done, I've tried out, just um, just an experiment and just to uh, make things a bit easier, which is to tune it into a power chord of D by tuning the strings down, so you're loosening them off, and we now have uh, the strings going like this. And one thing I noticed straight away is that that bottom string is now very loose and a bit twangy. I don't know whether I could solve that problem by using maybe different strings. Um, of course, if you're a proper dedicated sort of serrowed player, you're going to think, um, you know, I'm obviously just wrecking the instrument and, and not doing it properly. Which is true, but if you're to someone like me that's bought it, just have a bit of a mess around with it and uh, see if you can make a, a sort of half decent sound, then uh, then you know you can you can always try this and see how you get on. So I've got a bit of a tampora going on in the background, and um, now you've got a, a kind of deeper sound, which is nice and you can sort of do this sort of thing. thing that's quite nice about having it like this is these bottom strings these lower strings you can uh, you can bend them in the more Western sort of guitar way of pulling them
So yeah, like that. But of course, what you'll notice, uh, obviously, really, is that because the strings are a lot looser, they're a lot easier to push down, but also they're a lot easier to send out a tune. And you have to keep just checking them. Oh, also, uh, these uh, strings here, I probably should have told you that first. These are, I've, I've got these tuned to a power chord as well. And this string here also. Well, there's supposed, to be, there's supposed to be two strings here, but I've snapped one of them. In fact, I should change the name of this video to um, how to how to bugger up your serode. That might be more accurate. But yeah, so it's just a suggestion. Um, kind of works for me, because I, I just find it a lot easier to play and kind of a bit easier to to relate to. Now the other thing which I can do, which again you're not supposed to do, uh, is this kind of thing, which because I like to listen to uh, a lot of sitar music as well, and uh, Ravi Shankar of course he does a lot of bending of the of the lower strings, so you get this kind of effect. But what if then you can do that? Now this string is dead loose, you can bend it at the bottom here, and you get this kind of thing there. Now, of course, that's gone out. Now, I don't know if these tuning problems could be solved by using, like I say, slightly thicker strings or different strings or something like that. So basically, I'm, I'm experimenting in changing, obviously, what is a very kind of um, Indian, um, Asian instrument and sort of making it a little bit more accessible for people like me that can't really get their heads around it. Uh, also, I'm not even sure if this... Now, if anyone can help me with this, I'd be very, very grateful. I'm not even sure whether this bridge is set up properly because it obviously arrived from India and that... And a few people have said to me, that bridge doesn't look right. And, of course, I don't know if that's because uh, it's not right or whether it's just supposed to look like that. So, uh, yeah, I mean, really, uh, this is uh, an experimental video, but also it's kind of a cry for help uh, if anyone's out there watching that knows a bit more about these things. And I live in the Nottinghamshire area. I'm looking for someone that can help me just set up this right, uh, set this up and tune these sympathetic strings. So, um, so yeah, that's it really. Uh, just um, thanks for watching and uh, hope that uh, that you uh, liked it. And uh, if you're not a serious Sero player and you just like to have a bit of a mess around with things, then um, go forth and uh, go forth and enjoy.